to tie things up. Everybody get up. Here we go. Chef Nikki. Hi, welcome. you ready for a tie takeover? Yes, come on in. <laughs> Thank oh, you for having me. I'm so <laughs> excited. Your home is beautiful. Thank you so much. Come on in. Thank you. So this is my kitchen. So pretty. I'm Thank so you. excited. Oh, I know. <gasps> this is the, the bridge. bridge. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Oh, wow. Wait, why are you? What? What part? Jesus, oh. my sauce is in here. I do. You're you are right. a true mint fanatic. I am, as is my okay. husband. You have everything. What do you normally cook with on a oh, daily basis? Um, you know, my my family really likes chicken and, and uh, salmon. Okay, I'm getting inspired. Okay. Would more inspiration come from the pantry? Let's go look at the pantry okay. real quick. Oh, well, here oh, you go. Makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Can I live here? Please do. Bye. Rent is due on the first. And <laughs> how much is the rent in this room? <laughs> Look, she even has fish sauce. I have so much, but I'm debating, like, do I want to cook with Asian ingredients or non-Asian ingredients? Sure. Let's do salmon. Yeah. What are we going to do with the salmon? Let's go back and look at the, uh, the, bleh, the veggies. We have lettuce. We have zucchini. Cucumber. Oh, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Broccoli. Everybody has broccoli. Okay, these are just so pretty that I want to use bell peppers. Sure. We love bell peppers. I love. And we have two colors, so we're going to do two colors. Green onions. Always. I don't know why you put chicken on top of your salmon, though. It's so pretty. You're like, I, I don't, don't know, know why, why either. either. <laughs> You're ready for a full-on Thai takeover. I'm very hungry. Oh, good, even yes. better. I really got stopped because everything, number one, was super organized, and I had so many things to choose from, I didn't even know where to go. <laughs> we have settled on a few beautiful pieces of veggies, as well as a beautiful piece of salmon. We've been using a salmon with a basil flavoring, like a butter basil, okay. and my kids actually got they loved it at first, but they've gotten a little bit tired of it. Okay. So it was an easy thing to do, and now they love salmon, so I want to keep that going. So my thought process is we're going to do a crispy fried salmon sticks-ish taco. We're going to use this broccoli as the filling of our veggies, so we're going to toss it with garlic, ginger, stir-fry mm. sauce, mm -hmm. cut them really small, everything bite pieces. This will be in our sweet and sour sauce or dressing, and we also found some pineapple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Let's we're gonna chop and prep. Okay. Which one would you be most comfortable with? I'll take the bell pepper. Okay. We only probably need half. I'm gonna go half with this for color. And we're going to cube them. It's kind of in strips. And then we're gonna go back and make nice little beautiful squares. I didn't have a ton of influences in cooking growing up. I grew up with a single mom and she worked a ton of jobs. And so we just kind of ate what we could get fixed mm -hmm. quickly. So I didn't see a ton of technique growing up. So as an adult, I love to cook. It's my creative outlet. Mm. I feel like when I make a dish the first time, it's art. Ooh, so you do mm -hmm. not normally follow a recipe, it I never like. follow a recipe. A, a recipe is a really great starting point for yes. me. Yes. Okay, now we are going to chop up some pineapple. You want me to what? <laughs> Dice pineapple. So just dice the pineapple that's already been diced. Okay. Yeah, just make them smaller. All right. Going for the same theme here. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and I'm gonna really just go with the broccolini's florets so that it will fit in the taco. I really hate to waste this part. Do you eat this part at all? I eat all of it, yeah. Ooh, how do you eat it? Well, I typically, so that's a big debate in our home. <laughs> the son <laughs> likes it only raw, but I like mine cooked. So oh, I wow. Okay, that is very impressive. And then everybody else is a no on the stem? We're all good. We okay. eat. We eat we, what's everything. in front of us. I love that. My daughter's great, so she loves to cook. She's intentional about tasting things. Even if she doesn't like it necessarily, she wants to know how it can work together. Weird thing, I've got a little weird fact for you. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. Okay, I'm ready. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, have you ever heard of geographic tongue? No, tell me more. Yeah, so apparently she inherited it from me. I had it growing up. But it makes you a little bit more sensitive 
to spices and seasonings. So I would give her a really hard time because she would find pepper spicy. And I just thought she was being kind of stubborn about mm. things. Mm -hmm. But actually, she has a really strong sensitivity to spices. I do too. How do you find out if you have a geographic tongue? Well, you can actually see it. It typically, um, uh, I mean, mine doesn't, it's not bad right now, but sometimes you'll get little patches on your tongue and then you'll, 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 you'll feel it doesn't like, mean you're sick? Mm -mm. <laughs> Uh-oh, Nikki's got a geographic tongue. She just thought she was sick. Okay, we can put the pineapples back in here. Oh, I was gonna drink that. I would, no, I was like, why did I do that? Add a little bit of rum. Yeah. Shot, we yeah. would've been good. Yes. All right, okay. so we're throwing this Let's on. Let's put this in here. Okay. At this point, now that we have all of our veggies cut, we're gonna put these away and we're okay. gonna bring out the salmon. Okay, I'm super curious on how we're gonna do this because right. I typically just throw it in the pan with uh -huh. the, the whole thing. Right. Like this is a huge is. piece of salmon. It is. So I don't know if you know this, I was the only Asian mint owner who would tackle sushi at the beginning. Oh. Because I was like, I want to have sushi at my place and nobody else really wanted to touch it or mm -hmm. play, but I'm like, I'm going to self-teach. And at that time, we did not have YouTube videos. Man. Right. Mm. School hard go. knocks. School hard knocks. I measure it by my palm. Okay, perfect. Let's get the nice, perfect Smart. pieces. And they're equal. And we do it in, you know, a single movement. We're not going back and forth, slicing okay, it, sure. right? Just nice, clean cut. And if you put your fingers at right there, you can feel all the extra bones that are still in it. Oh, wow. And in the sushi world, we would grab a little uh, tweezers okay. and tweeze them all out so mm -hmm. the piece stays like beautifully perfect. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm gonna cut right next to it and probably just cut it out easy. So is it okay to eat this? Because I have in the past. You have? I don't. So I don't know. Do you want me to keep some in so we can try it with the bones? <laughs> Only if you think that sounds safe. <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, I just throw it in the paint. So this is news. This is, this is interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, that piece is just the part that has the bones in there. And I'm okay. just taking it all, taking it out. But you know, once I cut it, it disappeared. But you can still hmm. feel it. That's weird. Okay, so you cut it and it disappeared? It was That's pranking it. you. And there they are. So they're, I guess, more like a, a very, very soft bone. So yes, in a way, it is edible. In the sushi world, mm -hmm. we would not serve this. See, touch yeah. there. There it is, and watch it disappear. <laughs> it's really a really soft bone cartilage. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna prep our ginger okay. with our garlic that mm -hmm. we're gonna use to saute the broccoli in. I'm so glad you have fresh ginger. Okay, you're using a spoon yes. with this. I don't think I've ever done that before. No, no. but look, I'm losing no part of the ginger. Are you it? applying much pressure? Can I see? You do. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the back. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot easier than I expected. Isn't it? Because I've seen like people use peelers and things like that, and you can. Okay, very yeah. cool. That was easier than I thought. Way easier. Since we peeled this side, I'm gonna use this side right here. Okay. This part looks a little hard. Mm -hmm. I am just going to cut that off. See, you can even do it like this, but I just feel like it's a waste. Mm -hmm. And we are going to finally chop this to about the same size as the garlic. Okay. And I don't wanna overuse too much ginger mm -hmm. since we don't have too much garlic about how much of the garlic, like the garlic and about how much the of the ginger. ginger. I'm gonna use about, it looks like a, maybe a good two tablespoons of each. Okay. We're going with a lot of flavor. Here. Perfect. Okay, we are ready to now doing the cooking part. This Perfect. process takes really fast. Okay. I am going to make the sauce while you saute the broccoli. Okay. Does Sounds that good. sound good? Mm -hmm. Both sauces will have a little bit of ginger and garlic. I kind of Great. half the ginger and garlic so we could share. Okay. And I'm gonna turn on your fire for you. We'll get the hair out of the way. Yes, <laughs> that would be a good idea. Okay, let's go ahead and put in our garlic and ginger. Okay as the oil kind of cooks up. And I'm gonna talk through this process a little bit for you. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna give you also a little bit of the onion. I just love, this just seasons any type of sauce fairly easily. And at this point, I'm throwing in the beautiful broccoli, or broccolini. And in my pan, I'm going to make a sauce with the bell peppers, the onions, I'm gonna put the green onions in last. Mm -hmm. Okay, turning your power down half, and then we're gonna use the stir-fry sauce. Perfect. And you probably need about maybe a tablespoon of it. 
You want to try? Mm -hmm. Are you a must pour it into a tablespoon in order no, to pour it in? Or are you an not. eyeball? Eyeballer. Me too. Yeah. Good. As I eyeball my sauce with the sweet and sour. Yeah, you got this. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the pineapple to create the sauce. And I'm keeping some so that we can have a nice crunch a little bit later. Okay. How are we going? Good. Then we are going to transfer it over into, you can put it back into your container. And as my sauce reduces down, I want to balance it out with a little bit of fish sauce. Since you had some, I'm so excited to use some fish sauce. So I'm adding salt. What is that? So that's just going to kind of bring down the sweet and add yes, a little, a little salt. Yes, balance it out. Nice. And I'm going to taste. And then another flavor that I love to balance this in mm -hmm. is a little acid. Okay. So acid. Oh, vinegar. Check. Vinegar. You just had everything for me to play with. Well, I don't use vinegar a ton for uh, cooking, cooking, but I use <laughs> it for cleaning. cleaning. So now we'll add it to the dinner <laughs> menu. Okay, tossing in the rest of the beautiful pineapple at the end. And I'm going to turn this off. We've reduced it enough. It's going to be this beautiful thick sauce that we're going to put over our fried salmon. Am I making a mess? <laughs> Oh no, I'll just have to lift that plate. I'm sorry, yes, you might have to. But we did get everything out of here. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of the green onions because nice. the residual Love heat will green. continue to cook and we'll still have this beautiful green onions in there. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Ready to fry some fish? I guess so. Let's do it. Can we salt and pepper this flour? Or I'm gonna put in some uh, smoked paprika for flava. Perfect. And then how many yeah. cranks? Um, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I feel going. like I work at Olive Garden. Keep, keep going. I like flavor. And we did have a lot of flour. We got a lot of You're fish. right. Okay, let's go to salt. Salt. <laughs> Is that me or you? I think this one's you. <laughs> okay. Tell me when. <laughs> okay, when, I guess. Is that right? You want when. more? When is good. Okay. Awesome. Then I am all going to do this and... Our salmon is also beautiful, so we're going to okay. start putting these pieces in. Check. And I know we're not doing like a panko style. I wanted to do just almost like that fish and stick feel. Mm -hmm. I'm just squeezing it a little bit so it has okay. some flour on it. Mm -hmm. We did a few testing pieces, and yep. we decided to add some garlic powder to this. Right. Mm -hmm. And we are going to do a triple coat on these fish sticks. So basically, we're starting with one coat of flour. Mm -hmm. Going into the water. water. Not a coat of flour. Okay, so that's your third. And then you go over here. Yes, I'm going to put it in. Okay. I'm going to put you in charge of the spider. Okay. How do I know is. when is the appropriate time to take out the salmon? I'm going to go with color. Okay. I so I can't see the color too well because of the bubbles. <laughs> you will oh in no. a sec. <laughs> Not crowding. Okay. Slowly putting them in. We still have some play space. Okay. I'm going to stop there, and then okay. we're going to start fishing out the fish sticks. Okay, go ahead. They almost look like chicken tenders at this point. They do. That's what I'm going to tell my children. Because <laughs> salmon is not normally deep fried. Right. Right? Right. But we found salmon, and we wanted to make something different, so here, here we, we go. <laughs> okay, we are almost ready to roll. We're going to just warm up some tortillas. I'm going to fill these up. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> Okay, you start making yours. I want to see how you make yours. Okay, I would probably go for this Beautiful guy right here. Beautiful salmon frying, by the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yes. So a little bit of this. Yeah. Absolutely. The broccolini. Yeah, the... broccolini with that garlic mm -hmm. and ginger flavor profile with our stir fry sauce. Mm -hmm. This we made with a sweet and sour that was enhanced with some fish sauce, a little of uh, vinegar to balance out the sweetness. I'm going to be polite and I'm going to wait. No, don't wait. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it is good. saucy. Is it good? It's really good. Salmon and tortillas. Mm-hmm. What a creation. I can't stop eating it. It's so good. This is delicious and I can't it's wait so to So pretty. We can always add some prepared. chili to it. And just for having us come into your house, I would like to gift you with the oh. whole set. I wasn't, of our sauces. I wasn't gonna ask if this is for me to keep, but I was hoping. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. I Aww. love this. Thank you. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We've had so much fun creating something completely new, 
off the menu Mexican Asian flavor profile taco slash burrito. Absolutely. <laughs> Give it a shot. Yes, you need to try it. And let me know if you did not want to use salmon, what fish would you use in your taco? Until next time, Kapkun Khan. Thank you.